Welcome to the Greenlight Telemetry Device installation video. This video will take you through the required steps needed to properly install the Greenlight Telemetry Device in your vending machine. Before visiting the machine, be sure that you have completed all the onboarding forms and that your account is set up and ready for transactions. Let's take a look at the device. It has a lightweight injected plastic case, round buttons, eight multicolored LED lights, locking cable connectors for MDB, DEX, USB, a door switch, card reader, temp sensor, antenna, and has cashless technology built in. Here are the main parts included in your standard install kit. An MDB cable. This is the power to the device and the MDB communication for the cashless. DEX-Y cable. This is used to communicate to the vending machine controller for inventory, cash accountability, and pricing. If you are utilizing a handheld DEXing device that DEXes the machine, it has an extra female port for plugging in the handheld cable. A door switch cable. This is used for door alerts in relation to visibility, theft notification, and restocks. And lastly, the antenna. This is used to communicate to the green light server for better reception. Some optional accessories are available depending on your utilization of the green light features including a door bracket and switch for installing on a machine not equipped with one from the factory for door open events, and temperature sensor cables. These cables detect the temperature in the machine and alert you if the temperature goes out of a selected range. Consult VINnet at 1-800-833-4411 for the options needed for your model. Now let's look at how to wire the device to the machine. This is the wiring diagram used to explain how each cable is run to the machine and how to tap into each circuit. Starting with the MDB, we tap into the circuit before the bill validator and the coin acceptor. Next is the DEX. This plugs into the DEX harness coming from the vending machine controller. Last is the door cable. Some machines are able to tap into the existing door switch. Consult with VENNET for which machines can utilize the existing door switch or require a door bracket and switch kit. Older machines may need updates to software or firmware or additional cables to properly communicate the DEX data or process caches correctly. If you have any doubts about your machine controller, software, or firmware compatibility, consult a VENNET associate at 1-800-833-4411. A brief listing is also available at www.greenlightvending.com support. If a newer firmware is needed, document all settings including prices, coil grouping, meters, and other machine specific settings. Before installing, make sure your machine is clean and in complete working order, including bill validator, coin acceptor, and any motors or elevators. Are there any lights not working? Is the credit display clear and bright? If it's a refrigerator machine, is the filter clean? Address any issues that may affect someone purchasing from your machine or things that may require another visit. Open the door so you can access all areas of the machine. If the machine is in an enclosure, pull it out enough so you have access to the top to ease installation of the antenna. Turn off the power to the machine by moving the power switch to the off position or by unplugging the machine from the wall plug. Identify the MDB harness coming from the vending machine controller. If you don't have access to the vending machine controller, you can always locate the dollar bill acceptor or coin acceptor and work your way back. The MDB is a 2x3 6-pin connector that has 5 wires, 2 for power, and 3 for communication. We use the MDB communication for cashless only. Next we need to find the DEX harness. It is a female phono plug used for DEX communication from the vending machine controller to the green light telemetry device. If your machine does not have this plug, contact VENNET to obtain the plug for your machine. Note, if your machine is old, it may not support DEX. The last thing we want to do is identify the door switch. If your machine has been designated to tap the existing door switch, locate the door switch and make sure you can access the connectors. If your machine needs a door switch bracket and switch, refer to the door bracket and switch install video for further instructions. Find a location on the top of the vending machine for the antenna. The antenna has a 30 inch lead, so make sure you are able to mount the antenna and still reach the green light device inside the machine. For further instructions on how to install the antenna, 
refer to our antenna installation video. Let's start installing. Place the device where you can easily see the LEDs as well as press both buttons. Keep in mind that different models of machines might have different mounting locations due to the vending machine controller placement, door configuration, and bill and coin location. Remove the Velcro backing and place the device in the machine. Twist the device to activate the glue on the Velcro. Make sure you can attach all the cables and antenna leads without smashing them. Find the spot where you found the MDB harness and unplug the connectors. Take the green light MDB cable and plug the female into the male and the male into the female. Take the small connector end of the green light MDB cable and thread it around any obstacles to the green light telemetry device. Push the plug into the green light device in the plug labeled MDB on the far left of the device. Remember, the connectors lock and unlock by pressing down on the thumb tab. Next up is DEX. Find the DEX cable and plug the male phono plug end of the cable into the female port you located previously. Route the small connector end of the cable around any obstacles to the green light device and plug the end into the port on the green light device marked DEX. The plug is located next to the MDB plug. Attach the lead from the antenna to the top of the device. Do not loop or coil the antenna wire as this will cause a drop in signal strength. You can use your fingers to tighten the connector to the device. Using small cable ties, dress up any excess cable length and secure the cables to already existing cable runs. This will ensure the cables are not pinched when the door is open and closed during restock. Turn on the vending machine by turning the switch to the on position or plugging into the wall plug. When the device is powered on, the status LED will light solid amber and then the cashless MDB and DEX lights will light solid green and then go out. Your status will then go solid green. Once the device has contacted the green light server, your network LED will light solid green and your signal LED will light red, amber, or green depending on your signal strength. Your telemetry LED will start flashing green, letting you know that the device is in session with the telemetry server. Once the session has completed, your telemetry LED light will go solid green. To force a DEX, hold the black button for three seconds until the DEX LED starts flashing. As the device receives the DEX from the machine, the DEX light will light solid green. Here is a quick run through of the LED behavior you are looking for in the device. If the device is not showing this behavior, refer to our LED troubleshooting guide located at greenlightvending.com support. Your device should have a solid green status, network, telemetry, and DEX lights. Some machines require you to set up the machine to handle the large DEX files being transferred to our device. Refer to the machine list provided by VENNET on which machines may require additional programming to set up DEX for our device. If your device has the proper LED behavior described above, then you have successfully installed the device. Check the bill validator and coin acceptor for proper operation and make sure the machine is in full working order. After you check the machine and everything is operational, record the machine device number, machine asset number, and other important installation information needed by your office staff for setup within the green light application. Once this is complete, you can close and lock the door. If at any time you run into an issue or have a question, please feel free to contact our support staff at 1-800-833-4411 between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m 
Monday through Friday, Central Standard Time.